Quill here from Quill Maths. Today we're going to look at tax and how to calculate tax, especially useful for higher applications in maths. So let's get straight into it straight away. But first, a word from our sponsors. Quill Maths is sponsored by Lecky, the educational publisher for Scotland. They offer viewers of this channel a massive 30% discount. Just use the discount code Quill Maths at LeckyScotland.co.uk. The practice question boots go all the way from level 3 to advanced higher and include national 3, 4 and 5 apps as well so you can get any book you need for your studies. These are an excellent resource for questions on every topic and contain work solutions so you can see how the marks are awarded. As you go through the book, the questions get increasingly difficult so that by the time you finish your book you will be ready for your exams. Usually £9.99, just use the discount code CLERAMATH to get 30% off that. Link down below. So this is a table showing the Scottish tax rate and you can see you've got your bands, your taxable income and your Scottish tax rate in percentages in the right hand corner. So personal allowance, starter rate, basic, intermediate, higher, advanced and top rate. I and mean, then the key thing is this middle bit. You get a personal allowance of 12,570 in Scotland. So that means that you pay no percent tax up to 12,570. Once you go above 12,570, you start paying tax at these rates, 19, 20, 21, 42, 45, all the way up to 48% if you're lucky enough to earn £125,140. So we're going to look at how do you calculate your tax, calculate the income tax paid in an annual salary of £36,000. So we need to think, where are we in this table? So we're in between the intermediate rate. So we need to get tax for everything, including that band, all the way to here. So we do it line at a time. So we begin with not percent is nothing. So we just start on the starter rate. So I'll just like starter. And it's always the highest number minus the lower number times the percent. So that is 14,877 minus 12,570 times 0 0.19. You just get a calculator to work that out. So brackets. 14,877 minus 12,570 times 0 0.19 and you get 4,3,8,33. So then let's look at our basic rate. So the basic rate is just exactly the same again. We've got 26,561 minus 14,877 and we're times them by 20%, so 0 0.2. Brackets 26561 minus 14877 times 0 0.2 is 2336.80. Moving up to our intermediate rate, well, my is in between the bands, so for the int rate, we're not going to be all the way to 43662, we're starting at 36000 minus 26561. And that's times 21%, so it's 0 0.21. 36,000 minus 26,561 times 0 0.21 is 198,219. So if you want your total tax, you're just adding these numbers up. So let's just put the answer on this line here. 438. 0.33 plus 2336.80 plus 1982.19475732. And we're done there. Okay, example two. Calculate the income tax paid an annual salary of 47,500. So starting again, we've got 47,500 and we have to work out the income tax paid on this salary. So personal allowance up to 12,570 is zero. So we start with a starter. The starter rate, we've got 14,877 minus 12,570 times 0 0.19. And if you're practicing these, although you'll get the same answer over and over again if you use the same table, it's still worth doing the sums just to double check you've not made a mistake, but also because it's good practice, it'll, it'll cement it for you. 43833. I'll just put the pound sign in at the end. So the next one is our basic. So that is 26,561 minus 14,877 
times 20%, 0.20. .20. Twenty six five six one minus fourteen eight seven seven times zero point two is two three three six eighty. And then we go to our intermediate rate. So I'll just write int, and that is between forty up to forty three thousand six six two. So I'm still above that with my wage. So I'll go forty three six six two minus twenty six five six one times 0.21 43662 minus 26561 times 0 0.21 359121 and the last bit we're now on our higher rate so we're way above we're in between them, 47,500, so we write 47,500 minus the lower rate of 43,662 times 0 0.42 this time, a massive jump. 47,500 minus 43,662 times 0 0.42 is 161,196. So now we need to add to get our total tax for the year, of course. 438.33 plus 2336.80 plus 3591.21 plus 1611.96, for thirty. And we're done there. Example 3, calculate an income tax paid on an annual salary of 76,300. So hopefully you're getting the hang of this by now. So we start off with a starter rate. 14,877 minus 12,570 times 0 0.19. And you get 438.33. And then we go to basic. So that is 26561 minus 14877 times 0 0.2. 2336.80. Then we go to intermediate. 43662 minus 26561 times 0.21. And that is 3591.21. Then we're on the higher, and we're still above the higher, so it's just 75,000 minus 43662, and it's times 42%, 0 0.42. One three one six one point nine six. And then finally, we're on the advanced rate now, advanced, and we are just at 76,300 minus 75,000 times 0 0.45, 76,300 minus 75,000 times 0 0.45. Is 585. And we're going to add them all up to get our total tax. So total tax is 
tax equals 438.33 plus 2336.80 plus 3591.21 plus 13161.96 plus 585, £20,113.30 pence. 2113.30. Now, here's a mistake, something I'll make in the real world then. Imagine you had a salary of £75,000 and you get an increase to 76300 A lot of people think, oh, I better not take that because I'll end up being in 45% tax and pay more tax when I would have paid 75000 Well, that's never going to happen because remember, on the extra bit is all you pay extra tax on. So although you lose quite a lot of that wage, you're still earning £585 more. Okay, so putting it all together with national insurance, which we've done in the previous video, we've got using these tables, calculate the net pay of a person working 35 hours per week earning £12 per hour. Now, we're assuming 52 weeks in a year, that isn't actually, there's a little bit more, but we're always going to assume that usually unless we're told otherwise. So let's get started straight away. We need to work out this person's annual salary. So that's quite simple. Annual salary is 35 hours per week times £12 pound an hour times 52 is 21840. Now, the question says, calculate this person's net pay. I'm assuming they want their annual salary. So, we've got 21840. Now, we've got tax to do and national insurance. You need to do both separately then take away. So, I'll do the tax first and then I'll go back and do the national insurance. So, let's start with tax. So, looking at our tax, start in the same way. Just check that table is the same as usual. 12,570 to 14,667, where the next one starts and then it ends, and then, so it's fine. We can just take away the bands. So we're looking at start a rate first, which is 14,667. Minus 12,570 times 19%, 0 0.19. That gives me 39843. Now we go to our next place, which is our basic rate. So we are in between the basic rate, so it's 21840 minus 14667. 21840 is the salary, minus 14667. Basic rate is 20%. 21840 minus 14667 times 0. 0.2, 134460. So total tax, remember that's just adding the numbers up, 398.43 plus 1434.60 is 183303. Are we pouncing in? Now we need to go back and do our national insurance like our previous video. So national insurance is quoted as week or month. Now since I already know week really, I can just go and do it for the week. So let's look at the weekly wage. You could do it month if you want just by dividing the wage by 12. But I'll just do a weekly wage by saying that I've got 35 times 12, which is £420 a week. So our national insurance band is... 184 to 967, 12%, and then over 967, 2%. So I'm in between the 184 and the 967. So I can just do 420, this is for national insurance, remember, minus 184 times 12%, 0 0.12. 420 minus 184 times 0 0.12 is 2832. But that's per week. So for the year, I need to times by 52. sixty-four. So there's my two key numbers there. So my net wage, remember net is always just take a salary, which is 21,840. 
minus the tax of 1833.03 and minus the national insurance of 1472.64. Eighteen five three four pound thirty three, and obviously if you had a pension, you would have to deal with that as well. And that's what we'll do in our next video. This has been Claire Maths today. We've done tax for higher applications of maths. Hope you found that useful and helpful. If you did, give it a like and subscribe. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.